Sometimes I wonder what Sid and I'd be like if we'd had a better home life. Maybe we wouldn't have grown up to be so difficult. Difficult's good, Vetra. You took what you had and made it yours. That's all any of us can hope for. If only you'd raised us, old man. Haha, <laughs> you would have turned out so much worse. Maybe a better shot, though. Core wanted to show me the project she was working on. Too bad she's not around. That was fun. If this is Cora's project, I better wait till she's here. You promised would die. All we could do is watch it happen. I think that's cat tech. Stay alert. Here. Ready to see what I've got? So where's your mystery project? Not far. The old outpost site. They left a few things behind. Oh, steady. Thanks. I can't lead the way unless you... Spoil sport. Soil converter. No remnant terraformer, but it makes sandy dirt into something useful. Eventually. Add seeds, some rain, and you've got a garden. That's right. You wanted a garden of your own. It'll take years. I might not even see it. But that's okay. Asari think in centuries. Lay a foundation, then step away. Let it grow into something you might never expect. Pathfinder training was my foundation. Gave me a whole galaxy of directions I could go. I don't need someone else's plan. Just a good beginning. The first seeds of a garden. Or someone I need in my life. Cora, I've been thinking. We should stick to being friends. Oh. We still make a great team. We shouldn't risk that for anything. Right. The team. Still, lots to do. Could you help me with this, just as my friend? Sure. Ready? One, two.
I'm good. You're here. Yeah, so listen, she's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today, just to warn you. She's here kickstarting repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter. She's gonna talk your ear off about your civic duty as a man. That is what she's here to do. The woman takes her job seriously. Hey, if you're cool with it. I mean, makes no never mind to me. No chance I'll ever oops a baby into the world. It does bring something to mind about us, though. Us? Yeah. When I'm this attracted to someone and they seem receptive normally, well, things start happening. I'm trying to give whatever this is between us the thought and attention it seems to deserve. So I have to know, do I introduce you to Jill as my friend who likes to flirt, or my guy? I don't know. Chemistry really matters. And we haven't even kissed. We can remedy that right now. So? What do you say? I'm your guy, Gil. All right, then. Let's get this over with. I mean, get this show on the road. Not that this is an act. Wow, you've got Gil tongue-tied. What did I miss? Ah, Jill. About time. This is... Save it. I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder, pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. You want to know if you can reverse my chemical procreation blocker? You baby. I see my reputation precedes me. The question is... What are your intentions with my boy here? I'm pretty serious about your boy. He's sort of my guy. <laughs> what? What is it? Nothing. It's just... I see you two... I have a really good feeling. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Giles said he wanted to see you. Anomaly detected.
I would like to welcome our Salarian and Asari pilgrims to the Nexus. You've had a long journey, but we're thrilled that your arcs have finally arrived. We ask for patience as we find homes for everyone. To those who doubted the future, the proof stands before you. The Asari and Salarians live, and so does the dream. Ah, there's the hero who made it possible, Pathfinder Rider. Do you have any words for us? I'd like to think my team and I are hitting our stride. We're getting pretty good at this. A confident Pathfinder. <laughs> exactly what we need. We chose well with this one. We all owe Ryder a debt of gratitude. In the meantime, please enjoy whatever comforts the Nexus can offer a weary traveler. Excuse me. You're the one who saved us. I am? Thank you. I don't know what else to say. I... I'd be dead if it weren't for you. We all would. Now we have a future. A bright future. You've been through a tough time, but it gets better. There's plenty of good in Helios. I can't wait to find it. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. He looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's his own person. Just admit, you don't like Krogan. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. There was no time to save both. I had to make a decision. Such is the burden of leadership. Nevertheless, it is good to see Ark Parchero reunited with the Nexus. Yet I have to question what we've gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. This is how we beat them. The Archon doesn't know how to bring Meridian online. He can't control the technology. I can. Vaults, maybe. We don't know if Meridian works the same way. And attacking the Cat only to find out you're wrong? Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I can't support your plan, Ryder. Then I will. And so will I. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. We hear you loud and clear. Good. That will be all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go, we'll talk later. In the tech lab. Sarah. <laughs> Little brother. Bring it here. Man, it's good to finally see you. It's good to see anything. I was starting to think I'd never wake up. Well, 
I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. There's nothing anyone could have done. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. It gave me time to let it sink in. I'll miss him. But I also know he'd be the first to say, get over it, get on with it already. Oh, there's been plenty of that. So I hear, Mr. Pathfinder. Not by choice. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? Just for once, take it easy, will you? There'll still be plenty of mountains left to climb when you wake up. Oh, better leave the tallest one for me. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Hager. We have an idea about Meridian. Please stop by the tech lab as soon as you can. Will do. Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you President of the Universe, too? Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote Ryder. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. All uh, right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? Dad was showing off Sam to Mom for the first time. Poor Mom. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. This is not good. Have you been A bar opens on the Nexus. Visitors herald the vortex as a sign of civility and the opposite of civility as more sleepers wake in need of a drink. This is HNS. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. Hmm. As you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Cat won't know which one is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest is on you. I can handle it. Though it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. I'm learning Pathfinders often are alone. Part of the job. Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. Not after this. 
You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. Largely because Kep technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. How many have been incorporated? How much of a problem? I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the cat learning from and incorporating. This is Captain Dunn. There's a situation... Jal said he wanted to see you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. The Ghost Storm technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian then. I'll call a meeting immediately. Thought you should know I keep finding crumbs here on the counter. Forget it, Drac. It's still your turn to clean the galley. I think something's nibbling our stores. Something that doesn't belong. Possibly something tasty. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for stowaways. Now that we've been digging, it's clear you were right about Spender. Guy like that'll do anything to get ahead. Just wonder how far he went. We can talk more later. Sure. <laughs> 